So I just wanted to do a quick video introducing this new radio, the Redivis RT71. This radio was sent to me free of charge uh, by Redivis for testing, evaluation, and review purposes. Uh, the reason I want to do this video is it's going to be a little while before I get a full review out, and I just wanted to let folks know that it was out on the market. This radio is a UHF only DMR and analog uh, handheld ham radio. I'll include a link below where you can pick this radio up, but it is retailing for about $85. The 71 comes with a charging station that allows you to charge the radio and an extra battery, along with a wall adapter. It comes with a pocket clip and a lanyard and a 1700 milliamp battery. It's easy to take on and off the radio. Here it is, uh, me clicking it on, and then I'll fire the radio up. I'll keep the volume down so we don't get any interference. It also comes with a manual that's pretty well written, but I would say that the uh, charging cable or the programming cable does not ship with the radio, so you're going to have to add that extra, and we'll take a look at that on the Redivis website. Just taking a quick look at the radio, it has a volume and a power on knob on the top. It has a covered port for microphone and headset. It also has an LED light on the top of the, on top of the radio. It comes with an antenna. This radio is UHF only. There are two programmable keys underneath the PTT button, and it has a very limited keypad. Just a quick size comparison against the iLunes HD1 and a Baofeng UV5R. You can see it's similar in size to the UV5R, both in length, width, and depth. However, it's dwarfed by the iLunes HD1. And that's what I really like about this radio. It's small, I don't use a pocket clip, and I can carry it around easily in a back pocket. There'll be a link to this website below, but this is the Retivus website for this particular product. You can see it's $84.99. You can come down here and get a better look at the features and the specifications for the radio. Also, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see what it ships with, and there is a link to the programming cable if you don't already have one. Now, this looks like a typical Baofeng programming cable, but it's not. There is no chipset in this cable. It's just a straight pass-through. On the Retivus support site, you can download drivers and programming software for a variety of radios. For this one, I just downloaded the RT71 software. I installed it on my Windows 10 32-bit Home Edition computer with no problem. I did not need to install any drivers once I hooked the radio up, but that may be because I install a lot of different radio software on my computer, and I had those drivers already. Anyhow, it worked pretty easily. It seems like the computer programming software for a DMR radio is always different than the other ones. Um, and that's, that's the case with this one. It's a little bit different than any other programming software that I've used. But uh, it was easy to figure out. And once you're experienced with DMR, you can kind of find your way through it. Uh, the one thing that I'll mention is, is that uh, the, the concepts are the same regardless of the software. It's just the look, feel, layout, and sometimes the language is a little bit different. Jacksonville, I moved to Jacksonville in 97 and then moved down here to Northport in 2011. So I lived in the Bayard section East Andrew, near Phillips Highway and Old St. Augustine Road. So um, I'm very familiar with the area. And I'll, with that, I'll be in the side listening. KI4 BBE, Bill from Northport, Florida. And there's the radio in action. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to answer them. I want to say thanks to Redivis for sending this out and thanks to everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up, subscribe, or share. Thanks, everybody.